Hey, everybody. My name is Jerry Williams, a.k.a. Greater Sapien. Thanks for stopping by. You already know what this video is going to be about. It's in the thumbnail. I made a video about it earlier today on my uh, other Greater Sapien channel. Going to do a little follow up here to be a little more candid about things. Obviously, last night we learned that Trump has um, contracted coronavirus and, um, you know, the world is reacting to that. Actually, I meant to check the stock market. I wonder how that's doing today. But the world is reacting to it. Um, and so I put out a video basically saying that I really don't have any sympathy for the man. And I do not, uh, given what he has done to um, make things worse and how he has shown no sympathy for anyone else who has been in the same situation that he's in. And he's done, I think, more than anybody. Uh, he's done things to uh, discourage safe practices and increase the possibility of other people getting infected. So I have no sympathy for him. The people are, so understand, uh, I'm going to be petty in this video. It's going to be short though. Um, so people, especially in reacting to my other video are talking about how the, the left is celebrating and they're, they're, they're wanting him dead. And they're, you know, they talk about everything, you know, being for peace and for life and this and that, but look at them. They're, they're wishing him dead. And what would happen if Republicans had wished, you know, or were wishing Biden dead as if Republicans haven't been talking smack about Biden's health from the start. Like they didn't wish Hillary dead right and left. Like they didn't mock her for having pneumonia, like all of that. But of course, now it's, oh, the left is terrible. We even have uh, someone on the other comment thread was saying that they thought uh, that this was maybe part of a conspiracy to assassinate him. Like he's going to they're going to give him some bad treatment and they're going to they're going to kill him and they're going to claim it on on COVID. Like. Like people like he can't just get sick from this virus because of his own mishandling of things. He can't just get sick and possibly die from that. It has to be some greater conspiracy because a key dear leader is so great. He can't, uh, he can't be harmed by something like this. It's, it's crazy how they, they worship this guy sometimes, but people are saying that, you know, you're mocking him and you're, you, you want him dead and you're wishing him ill. And the thing is, I don't wish him ill. I don't have any sympathy for him, but I don't wish him ill well because I'm more petty than that. I, I don't want him to die because I'm too petty for that. Okay, He has done some horrible things. He's done things to this country. He has revealed parts of um, this nation that were best left not revealed. He has empowered parts of our uh, citizenry that were best to be left weak. And so I am too petty for me to want him to die from this. I do not want Trump to die from this. I want him to recover. I want him to recover before the election. And I want him to be clear headed and clear minded enough to be on his feet when he loses this election. I, I want him to feel the heartbreak of loss. I want him to know that he is lost. I want him to have to concede to Biden. That's what I want. I want him to have to go through the entire transition knowing he's on his way out and that he has to hand things over to somebody else. I want him to experience being a one-termer and having to hand things over to people who are just polar opposite of him. That's what I want. I want him to be well enough to stand trial for all the things that are coming home, you know, all the chickens that are coming home to roost now. I want him to be well enough to stand trial for those. I don't want him to be coming in like, you know, Weinstein acting all feeble and everything and trying to get sympathies from people. I want him to walk, be able to walk in and sit during the entire trial and know that he has been caught. I don't want him to be, to be weakened so much that, Biden decides he's going to play the, the, the statesman and say, well, he's, he's been punished enough and I'm going to pardon him. No, I don't want any of that. I want him to live long enough to feel the punishment of, that, of those trials, to see his fortunes go away because the debt has come due. I want him to live long enough to know that his name has been ruined and his children are left with nothing. That's what I want to happen to him. I am too petty 
I am too petty to want him to die of COVID. No, I want him to live a long life from here on. I want him to stay around and I want him to feel it. That's what I want. So get well, Mr. President. We need you around. I can't hear you.